Hello, I'm Lizette, and in this video I will present you Davies Infinity version 2.0. Infinity 2.0 essentially allows you to make the 6.60 or 6.61 Pro or LME custom bomb permanent. This is an updated version of Infinity, which has various advantages compared to Infinity version 1, including the support for the PSP E1000, also known as the PSP Street. Essentially, if your PSP is already on version 6.60 or 6.61, and is running Infinity version 1.0, you will need to use the downgrader to remove Infinity version 1. Then you can install a custom firmware, and then you can install Infinity version 2.0. If your PSP happens to be in version 6.6.0 or 6.6.1, and it's not running Infinity version 1.0, then you can simply just install Infinity version 2, and that's essentially, essentially it. Um, in this part of the video, I'll show you how to get rid of Infinity version 1, this is currently marked with this little infinite symbol, that this is an infinity version of the LME custom firmware. And then in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how to install infinity version 2.0. At first, we have to connect our PSP to a computer and copy a few files from our computer onto the PSP, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, on our computer, you can grab the infinity files either from infinity.lolhex.org or you can just grab them from the description of this video. I'll just put all the necessary files in the video description. So it's very easy for you to grab all the necessary files. Um, we need to connect our PSP to our computer. You can either do this via a USB cable or you just remove the memory card, put it in a card reader and then connect it to, PC, to the PC. It doesn't matter. Um, we will need a few files. We need either the official version 6.61 for all PSPs except for the PSP Go or we need the specific file, um, the official version 6.61 for the PSP Go. The PSP Go has separate files, so if you're using a PSP Go, just use the Go files, and if your device is anything else other than the PSP Go, you can just use the normal files. Um, the same applies to the Infinity files. We have files uh, for the PSP Go, and we have files for every other PSP. This includes the PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, and the PSP E1000, which is also known as the PSP Street. Then we we'll, might need the Chrono Switch downgrader. If your device is currently running Infinity version 1, then you will need the Chrono Switch downgrader to remove this. And after this is removed, we can just install um, a custom firmware, either 661 LME or 661 Pro. This also works for 660 LME or 660 Pro. For this video, I'm using the LME custom firmware. And well, then we can get started. Essentially, we need to put um, the LME custom firmware installer on our P PSP. So you just open the archive, and you drag and drop this PSP folder onto our PSP. And it's asking to override uh, the folder. We can just say yes, and it's putting all the files into the necessary um, directories. We do the same thing with the Chrono Switch downgrader if we need to downgrade. And to do this, we just go into PSP, game, create a new folder and just call this downgrade and then within this directory which is PSP game downgrade I just put the chrono switch file this one ebook.pvp and that's essentially it. What we also have to do is we need to put the 661 original firmware on our PSP so we just drag and drop this PSP folder. Uh, there we go, onto the PSP 3000 in my uh, PC directory, and then I just say yes, and it's copying the file onto my PSP 3000. Now we should have the LME installer, the LME launcher, the downgrader, and the 661 update on our PSP 3000. With this, we can uninstall the old version of Infinity. If your PSP is not running Infinity, then you can just skip this step and just continue with the other step, which just deals with installing Infinity. Okay, now that we're done copying all the necessary files, we can just verify if all the files we copied are available. We have the Chrono Switch downgrader, we have our PSP update version 661, we have the LME installer and the LME launcher. The rest here is just some games. Um, at first, to get rid of Infinity version 1.0, we will run the Chrono Switch downgrader. Keep in mind that your battery has to be charged and it needs at least more than 50% for the uh, official updater to launch and to install the version 6.6.1 or 6.6.0. Um, at first we start the um, downgrader 
just confirm everything if we agree with what the text says. And then if our battery has enough juice, you can essentially run the official updater, which will be started by the downgrader. Keep in mind you need at least 50%, so it needs to be at least half full. This will take a while, so I'm just gonna um, skip ahead in the video when this is done, and when this is done, we'll continue with installing Infinity and Custom Firmware and making it permanent. Okay, the update is finished, and now we can reboot our PSP by pressing X. PSP is now going to reboot, and it should be running the version 6.61, the official version 6.61 without any custom firmware, without any infinity, simply just the normal version. As you can see, my battery percentage marker is gone, the wave in the background is normal again, and it is indeed running version 6.61, the default standard version. Next we can install the LME custom firmware and the LME launcher. Um, we don't have to do this first, we can do this first. And if you happen to have a PSP that is running um, a normal custom firmware without Infinity, you can simply start from here to install Infinity. Um, it doesn't matter if you install the custom firmware first and then Infinity, we can just do it in any order. So I'm just going to install the LME custom firmware right now then I will launch it and then we'll have to connect our PSP to the computer once again because we still have to copy the infinity files from our PC onto the PSP. Just press X and it's going to install the LME custom firmware on your PSP. It says it's restarting. This means it's finished the installation but it's not loading it yet. So we will have to use launcher next to boot into the LME custom firmware and after we've done this we can connect our PSP via USB to the PC and then copy the infinity files which we'll install last. LME launcher it's now going to launch the LME custom firmware there we go this is a normal behavior it lists a model version and then it's just rebooting into the custom firmware and as you can see, the battery percentage is once again available. And the system settings also say this is version 6.61 LME 2.3. Next, we're going to connect it to a PC once again and copy a few files. Okay, back on the PC, we still have to copy the infinity files to our PSP. Once again, if you have a PSP Go, you use the files which are located in the PSP Go folder. And if you're using a non PSP Go, you use the files which are located in the X000 folder. In the final version of Infinity, this folder might be renamed to Standard or something else. Um, I don't know how Davy will handle this, but currently there will be one PSP Go fol folder and one folder for everything else. You just click this folder and then copy this PSP folder, drag it onto our PSP uh, directory on the PC, and then just say yes. And if it asks to override files, we just say yes for everything. Just override all the files, it doesn't matter. When this is done, we go back to the PSP and finally install Infinity version 2.0. Okay, back on the PSP, we will now notice if we go to our memory stick directory that the uh, 661 updater is gone and it's replaced with Infinity 2. We just um, start Infinity 2 and it should greet you with the following screen. Um, the version number is going to be different in the final version. This is just some uh, preview version, but I already prepared this ahead, so it doesn't matter regarding the final version. Uh, just press X to install Infinity. It's going to install within like a second. Then you press X and it's going to reboot the PSP.
as you can see, now it's, uh, it's running version 6.61 Infinity. Keep in mind that Infinity itself is not really custom firmware, so you will have to install an additional custom firmware. We already did this in this video, but if you install Infinity first, then you will have to install a custom firmware, and then you will have to launch the custom firmware, and then you will have to do the following. Since we already installed the custom firmware, we can just do an, um, go ahead with the final step. After installing Infinity version 2, you launch the Infinity installer once again, because now we can configure Infinity to uh, permanently boot into either the LME custom firmware or the Pro custom firmware. If you don't configure Infinity, it's just going to boot into a normal version of 6.61 with the additional Infinity functions. This Infinity installer can also be launched from the normal version 6.60 or 6.61. It doesn't necessarily require a PSP custom firmware since it's signed. Um, if you reach the screen, you press left and then you can install the module whichever you want. Since we are using the LME custom firmware, we're, using, we're going to ME custom firmware by Neuron and press X. And that's essentially it. And we can press the home button, press X to end exit, and that's it. Infinity should now boot into the LME custom firmware. And this custom firmware should be permanently patched. Okay, it didn't boot into LME yet. So I guess we will have to reboot the PSP or launch the uh, custom firmware, but I'm going to just turn off the PSP and turn it on again, because then you will be able to see that this is uh, truly a fully functional permanent custom firmware on version 6.61. And that's it, as you can see already loading the battery percentage marker again and now our device is running version 6.61 LME 2.3 Infinity version 2.0 and that's essentially it that's how you get a permanent custom firmware on your PSP via Infinity version 2.0 I'm ZZ and see you soon